hey what's up everyone welcome again to another video so on this video i'm going to show you a simple way we can deploy our django project to cpanel so this way is can be applicable to any cpanel account you have just provided that you have a python app on your cpanel so without further words let's get started just one thing i want to say that if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing liking and leaving your comments below and if you are still facing some problems please just go back go to my fiverr profile i've left the link in the des description just go there i have several jigs just look for which one if fits you and I will help you deploy your application to cPanel with a very few amount of dollars please go there and provide just leave your your message there I will answer as soon as possible okay as you can see here on my VS code our project is learning proper and I just want to tell you that the way I've arranged this project is that I have this is the main folder is called deploy then inside uh, this is the project I mean this one is the project test site this is the project which contains settings.py uh, yes settings.py and other files and then I have a static file here so the static file is the, in the same folder with the with the I mean this is the Django project and as you can see here I have the manage.py why okay now let us go to our cpanel try to log into your cpanel so as you can see just go down to your cpanel and look for python app so this one here set up python application and then if you open it you will see something like this and then come here and press create application okay then here you have to select the version of python you want to set so for me i'm going to select 3.9.12 okay then i have to specify the application root so here you can put any name you want but for me i'm going to call it deploy okay then i want to select the application url for me it's not if i don't see the so i'm going to select a subdomain this is called staging.cypher.co.tz okay then if you're here you don't need to fill all this other you just you can leave them blank and then you have to press create okay good now the folder is already created so as you can see here above me you have this link here and this is a virtual environment link so we are going to copy this link and we are going to paste it on our terminal so just click this link and the link will be copied to clipboard now let us go to our terminal so just before going to our terminal let us go back to our project on vs code first and then as you can see let us cancel the server here well, first after cancelling then let us do this simple let us do pip and then freeze and then we should redirect this to requirements requirements dot txt okay okay now click enter now good as you can see that our project now has requirements.txt okay now as we have our requirements.txt on our main folder here let's go back to our cpanel so if we if we come back to our cpanel here you can see we have a folder named deploy here so you can just click the folder inside and then inside this folder we have these files here okay so the other thing we have to do here is that we want to upload our project to this folder so let's us start by uploading our project to this folder now we can go back to our project folder so this is our project folder now 
let us first of all zip this folder so i'm going to zip this okay now good we have the deployed the zip here let's go back to our c panel now let us upload this folder here and then let's just select here and then we have it here deploy okay let's go back now let us unzip this okay just leave here deploy okay now we okay now you can just delete this to save some space okay good now we have the requirements here and then we have the manly.py on our deploy folder okay now let us go to our terminal so before going to terminal let's go back to our python app and let us copy this the virtual environment activation link if you copy it you will see here copy to a clipboard and then let us go to our main and let us search for terminal here so terminal is here okay come paste the link here and then you press enter so our virtual environment has been activated now the next thing you have to do here is just to install our requirements.txt so we have to do pip then install space dash r space requirements dot txt okay press enter so as you can see Django 4 is being installed and other requirements are being installed okay now after installing our requirements.txt let us go back to our folder now as you can see here this is our main folder remember we have the main folder is called the deploy then inside deploy we have these files and these files as you can see here we have testy.site with the is the django project now let us open this passenger underscore wsgi.py i will show you we are going to add this so so just uh, delete all this and just light from uh, my Django project is called test site dot w s g i then we write import application so this from test site this is my Django project dot wsgi then we import the application let us save this and close then let us go to our test site dot this is our django project and then let us go to settings dot py so let us edit it So the first setting we have to do, we need to allow the allow the host. So here we just put the star, mean that or the domain should be allowed. Then, <coughs> then we have to set we have to set what we call the media route, and we have to set the static route. Okay, now here we have to write static underscore root and then we have to specify where do we want to put our our static root and then we have to specify also where do we need to put our media underscore root okay 
Just remember that if you're using Django 4, you need to add also this line here. But this is all we can do now. Let us specify where do we want to put our media. And media, we have to put them on, on the public underscore HTML. So for us, we are going to use the subdomain. So we need to put the media inside the public. I mean the public. We don't have the public underscore HTML, but we have the folder which is so accessible from the web. So we have to specify here a string which we say that we have to put our we have to put our directory so as you can see for me it is just a home i be small writers it's just a home then this is my username you can put your own username okay subdomain which is called staging staging dot cipher dot cipher dot co dot tz then slash media oh, media what is media media okay now we are going to do the same for for the static root okay it's just in my home directory username and then instead of media we're going to put here static okay good now we are done here let us just save this okay changes are saved now let us go back to our terminal so here we just need to write that python manage dot py then we need to correct static okay now press enter okay oh we're having some issues here oh some issues let's go back to our uh, settings.py and let's see if we have everything clear here okay uh, yeah of course we have a small issue here instead of home we need to put home to and here we need to put home to some issues with the the location now let's see if i've imported os here okay os is there now let us save this ah okay good now Let us let us now run our command here. It is Python. Uh, Python manage py correct is static. Now let us press enter. Okay, are you sure we need to type yes? Okay, good. Now our static files have been copied to our specified directories. Now let us try to access our web page and see if we can see our email signature. So if we press enter here. Okay, good. See, we have our email signature here. So this is how you can do and this is how you can deploy your Django project to cPanel so it's very simple what you have to do is just following the following the instruction and the instruction are very simple and please if you are still facing some problems just go to my Fiverr profile and I have some several objects there 
check what you want and then i will help you to deploy it for a very small amount of money so hope to see you on another video and don't forget to subscribe and leaving your comments below thanks